hardly presume to define what that role is, but I, I think there are different roles, roles for architecture in different contexts and places. But one tendency that I think is, is interesting and, and that is increasingly visible is the tendency, uh, uh, which is also common to politics, which is thinking of architecture as a service in which you facilitate processes that people are carrying on. So rather than going to a community and telling people what they need and what they should do, to learn from what they are doing, and on the basis of that, uh, help them out in that process. I think uh, one of the main challenges in architecture today in Mexico is to uh, serve and work with the people who are not currently working with architects. There's up to uh, 95 or 97 percent of the population that builds on its own without the participation of architects. Uh, and a, a, a challenge for architects is to think of how they might work with them and, and what kind of knowledge they might contribute to the processes that they're carrying out on their own. I do not think it's a change in how architecture is practiced or how it's uh, thought. Rather, it's uh, making visible certain processes that have been going on for decades in many places, but do not fall under the purview of what we consider architecture uh, from the, pr the perspective of architecture magazines and many universities and many practicing architects. So what the Biennale is doing, I think, is putting the spotlight on other forms of architecture that have a very long history uh, and that go back decades, in fact centuries, in which architects participate in social processes uh, as facilitators, uh, not as, as, as experts that arrive uh, imposing outside knowledge, but rather as people who work alongside people in solving uh, their problems and transforming their environment. The Venice Biennale, the center or, or, or of the Mexican pavilion, is uh, the idea of putting people back at the center of stories about architecture. So rather displacing big buildings as the, the, the central characters and putting the people who live in them as the central characters of, of building and housing and, and cities. Um, and I think that might be part of the future of architecture, recognizing that buildings are not uh, isolated objects, but spaces that happen to be inhabited. Uh, for the Balkan region, I think, is one of the more, most interesting in Europe because of the potential it has. Uh, there are many things uh, that are yet to be done uh, in, in this area, uh, and so there's interesting challenges and, and interesting solutions that people are coming up on their own. I think uh, the Balkans might offer really interesting ideas for other countries, uh, and there's also the possibility of talking uh, across uh, countries to other places that have faced uh, similar problems and similar challenges. Um, there are many ways of practicing architecture and many ways of thinking of architecture, and I think rather than thinking that architecture is one single thing, it's more interesting to think of how you know, some architects offer uh, an aesthetic solution for a problem and some architects offer uh, a, you know, help in, 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 in figuring out how uh, the participatory process will happen. So I, I think, I think uh, there's no like one single way of doing architecture, not sure they should there be. There's the, the, all, all those, uh, for architecture students in particular, I think thinking of all the things that architects might do uh, are very valuable. Uh, in the case of, of, you're asking about Europe, but in the case of Mexico, for example, architects are often involved in construction processes. One of the things for which architects are trained are not only design, but also construction. Uh, and I think it's very valuable to recognize that that is one aspect of architecture in the country. Well, yeah, I think it's, it's fundamental for people across countries to communicate uh, and to, to learn over what has been done in other places. So rather than inventing new ways of, of, of shaping the territory and doing architecture, uh, people can communicate and, and, and share solutions. I think many of the solutions that have been used in, in Latin America, for example, over the past uh, half a century are relevant to, to what's happening in the Balkans, for example, and vice versa.
Well, I think, I think many things are happening in cities already. And I think the, the both for governments and architects and even universities, recognizing what is already going on is very important. So, so, so rather than activating a catalyst in, in, in a community, but you know, let me make this public space because I think this will transform the community, uh, I think it's more interesting to go and see what is already happening and seeing what that is doing uh, without the participation of experts uh, or outside experts because people who, who build, who self-build, who shape their neighborhoods are the main experts on those places. You know, people, people are experts on their own houses and their own environment. And recognizing that, I think, would be a very important thing to do. The main challenge for, I, I, that's, that's a very big question. I think universities, one of the challenges for universities to, to, to recognize that the profession is diverse and that there's many ways of doing architecture uh, and for architects to, to maybe, maybe one, of, one of the challenges, thinking of the case of, of, of Mexico, is to show that architecture is valuable um, as, uh, as a tool uh, to shape uh, environments. And it, it, it has something to add that marketing uh, does not. Uh, so, 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 so marketing is doing, uh, is, is leading uh, developing firms to do certain types of houses which they then sell to, to people in very expensive mortgages and often architects do not participate in that. So, so one of the challenges, in, in, especially in Latin America, is to bring architects back to those processes uh, and to bring architects back to planning, to housing, uh, and, and to show why that, that's important.